heard this noise, and it came from the back of me, and I looked back toward the president and saw his hands just fly up to his neck, and he slumped down. He said not one word. John is seated right in front of him, and so I didn't know for sure that it was a gunshot when I heard it. What did you think it was? You didn't know. I, it was just a noise. We had noises around. John knew it was a gunshot, and he turned to see the president, but see, the president was right behind him. He couldn't see him, so he whirled to the other side, and he still couldn't see him, and in the process of moving back, the second shot hit John. From the same place? From the same place. And hit John in the wrist? No, in the, it went through his, uh, below his shoulder, sliced out five inches of a rib, slipped through his lung and came out in his chest and landed, crushed his wrist that was on his knee and landed in his leg. Um, I, I pulled John down quickly, pulled him down in my lap because I didn't want him to hurt him anymore. He was blood, blood was all over him. And uh, you have two Johns, so you're talking about I'm John talking the about governor. I'm talking about John Connolly. Your yeah, husband. My John, yes. I right, see so you're holding your husband. What's I happening him down. in the back as you're well, doing that? Then we had a third shot. And from the same place? From the same place. And I, I'm not looking back now because I'm, that was the Matter. line and get to the nearest hospital. And we went flying to the hospital. And I said, get out of this line and get to the nearest hospital. And we went flying to the hospital. And I, I just thought of them. Do we ever know why Jackie 